An act of courage occurs when someone does something for the greater good and is not deterred by the feeling of fear. An act of courage is often associated with a big sacrifice, like death, but can also include small sacrifices, like the risk of being ridiculed in front of others or losing a friend. For an act to be courageous, it must comply with the following criteria. Number one, for an act to be courageous, it must be done without an ulterior motive. In other words, it must be done from the heart. Number two, for an act to be courageous, it must present some sort of risk. Number three, for an act to be courageous, it must be meaningful. Four, for an act to be courageous, it must be for the greater good. Five, for an act to be courageous, there must be an action. Six, for an act to be courageous, an obstacle must be overcome. In January of 1982, Florida Air Flight 90 crashed into the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. This story was shortly after covered. This story was shortly after covered by Time Magazine journalist Roger Rosenblatt. In his commentary, "Man on the Water," he talks about an unknown hero of the situation. The man quotes, "Balding, probably in his fifties, extravagant mustache, appearing alert and in control. The man who was in the water passed on every lifeline and flotation thrown in, thrown at him to another passenger. When others described him." They noted how high his level of commitment was. This man, who was totally anonymous, let out his last breath on that unforeseen day. When the helicopter finally went back around for him, he had already sunken under. The man's body knew, or the man nobody knew, in a situation of an extreme anxiety and danger, chose to risk his life so that he could hopefully save as many people as he could. He selflessly deferred his fears of death and hypothermia for the benefit of many others. In the midst of a horrific tragedy, the man in the water brought hope and meaning to our world. One can't even imagine the sacrifice he made and the fears he had to overcome. In the final moment of his life, without time to plan or question, he chose to act. It's rare to find someone whose actions don't just meet all the criteria of a courageous act, but go way more above and beyond than anyone ever could have thought. They did actually find that man's name, by the way. It was Arlen D. Williams Jr., a bank manager from Illinois. Before he went to serve in the military for two years, his high school girlfriend said that Williams was nervous about the swimming requirements because he always had a fear of the water.